Now to our in-depth coverage of the gridlock on I-95. We begin our in-depth coverage with Tyler Lane, who spoke with several drivers and passengers who were in the middle of the mess. Tyler? Well, Bill and Candace, some drivers were in more serious conditions than others, but they can all agree on this. It's been absolutely miserable. Now, here in Richmond, you can see behind me that traffic is moving pretty normally, but take a look at this in Caroline County at the Carmel Church exit. That's where crews are still trying to get cars off of the interstate so they can close down 95 between there and Prince William County. This is Miss Scoob. Scarlett Bickerton and Scoob are just happy to be out of the car for a moment. She was my little travel buddy all throughout this chaos. As Bickerton traveled home to D.C. from Florida, she became one of the thousands of drivers stranded on I-95 between Central Virginia and Washington after the winter storm. I was running out of gas <laughs> and it was uh, a lot of anxiety. 14 hours later, she was finally able to pull off at a Caroline County exit as crews shut down the interstate for snow cleanup. This is a hell of a way to start 2022. Tony Zeke, he's unlucky too, spending the night on the interstate and witnessing seeing others run out of food, water and gas. You got people walking up the highway, passing out water, people sharing, trying to keep people comfortable. Trucker John Gachet from Chesterfield stepped in to help too. He had a microwave in his vehicle and used it to feed a driver trapped in Woodbridge. Okay, I made you a hot breakfast and, you know, a cup of juice. Like, he was really thankful. But this couple who got stuck in Fredericksburg say support from government agencies was limited. I'm from Canada. I am, I'm used to snowstorm. I usually will have like people distributing water, food, something like there's no salt, there's no plugging. It's the worst management of like a snowstorm I ever seen. Also stuck in this mess, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, who says he left for Capitol Hill around 1 p.m. on Monday. I'm frustrated, but not in serious trouble, he tweeted. I just I want to go home. <laughs> Meanwhile, others like Emily Miles traveling to Virginia Beach are in trouble. I have a, some kind of condition and... um. I needed to get off to, um, you know, be able to take care of it. Until then, all she can do is sit and wait. I'm hoping I'm able to make it through. I hope this doesn't last much longer. And officials say if you ever get into trouble on the road, call this number 1-800-4-ROAD. Working for you in Richmond tonight, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.